Hang guy. Welcome to another episode of The Ginchiest. Today we are going to talk about my gray hair journey. You might notice that my hair looks quite different in this episode and it does because I use, as I'm growing out my silver hair again, I use a product called Overtone which is not a dye, it is a coloring conditioner and it's working pretty well. I have it in my hair right now. This product is really helping me with the awkward grow out stage. They're probably more well known overtone for their really bright colors because what a lot of younger folks do is that they bleach their hair and then they might dye it, you know, one funky color and then with overtone they change it up at home. But overtone has been offering more, I would say, traditional colors. And so they have like a golden brown, they have, I use the espresso brown, which we're gonna talk about the effect of it on my silvers. I have three different browns. So I use the espresso brown and my hair is pretty dark brown naturally. On the bottom I have still a lot of my natural hair color. And this is my husband, Dan. Dan, if they, they might not know you if they're new to the channel. Yes. The, the title might attract new viewers, we're hoping. Subscribe, by the way, we are a really great channel. What did you think about seeing me turn gravy? Um, yeah, of course. Uh, advising us well if you're young and you're going gray and you're still trying to look for a significant other you may want to wait growing it all out and i'm like oh, that's harsh it's harsh to, harsh to hear but i appreciate her honesty so the way i turn silver is really in the front i had my first gray hair um when i was 18 in the back but in my 20s i had this strip that would go like underneath the top layer and sorry i can't lift up my ha hands over my head um, you can hold on the elbow a little bit there. um so i had okay that's a good thanks um i had this strip underneath the top layer uh in my 20s and that was all white it was like silver and then you couldn't see it so i didn't worry about it okay thanks dan mm -hmm. but then when my when i started when i was getting closer to my 30s it was getting it was starting to reach the top layers and it moved on this side and i'll insert a photo uh, here to show you what my hair looked like when i was growing it out for that first time and i was 33 at the time it's got volume I, I i have huge amounts of hair i just have very voluminous hair i have a lot of hair so so i grew up like me. yeah dan's a little, little disappointed that he's shall i say going bald yeah okay. let's go bald. Um, but, so what I did is I grew it all out and then it was like, I was 35. It took me about two years all grown out and it looked fine. I'll, sh I'll insert some photos of me with my hair fully grown out at 35. Uh, at 35 or 36. Playing yellow gorgeous. Now. Thanks, Dan, because I have hair dye in my or I have hair color in my hair. Okay. So if, all right. So we're gonna we gotta keep on we gotta keep focused, Dan. 
<laughs> All right, so uh, I thought, you know what? I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna try to get something really not harsh of a dye. And I was working with a lot of younger kids. They were 18, 20, and I just felt like I felt really older and I just didn't want to feel that way anymore. And so I did it. I went to a salon and they did a single process and it looked so flat and my hair felt so horrible. And I regretted it. I immediately regretted it. If you're thinking about going back and getting your hair dyed and you have similar problems where your hair gets really, it just doesn't like dye and it's not very manageable, don't do it. So about, you know, exactly last January, I believe it was um, January 11th or 9th, I decided no more hair dye, no more hair dye. But as I'm regrowing out all the silvers, again, I'm using Overtone and I could show you what Overtone looks like if you're very, very new to it. If you, if you use it, you'll know this. But as I'm doing this, as I'm opening it up, I can show you too with the camera <laughs> that this is the effect. They're like copper, highlights in my hair that that are originally the whites and they don't look white people like they're totally covered now overtone swears up and down that individual results will vary and i believe them but the cool thing is is that if it doesn't work for you if it doesn't totally cover your grays then it'll just fade out now i will say so this is what it looks like. It's totally thick. It smells very strong of mint and kind of like cleaning detergents. Does that smell of day? Yeah, it's very fresh. Uh, it's very, very thick. You put it on your hair, dry, it has to be dry. So it's like you kind of have to have semi-clean hair and it's, it has a lot of conditioning agents, lots of different oils. I'll put the link below. But the point is, this particular color, espresso brown, makes the whites, for me, look copper, reddish. And when you wash it out, it will look blonde for me. It looks blondish, yellowish, and it's gonna stain your silvers like a yellowish. So if you don't like that look, then this might not be for you, or unless you just want to keep applying this over and over and over, uh, like every week or so, and not wash your hair every day. That's a possibility. If I had a lot of money, I would probably do that. I would like that approach because I like it. I like, I like how it looks. Um, I like how my hair feels, feels good, feels really good. Uh, and I know I'm not, causing more damage to the hair cuticle. So I'm gonna keep this up as I continue to grow out my grays again, and I will take you along this journey with me. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching, and... Cheers. Keep it Genshi.